How to give up considering what others say about you. It's typical for most people to be concerned about what other people think of them. Humans have a strong need to be valued for our innate qualities. Intelligence, talent, personality, and nature. But when we begin to depend on other people's judgment, we begin to mold our life according to their criticism. Although it's simple to get into this pattern, living your life to satisfy the expectations of other people is unhealthy. It's a never-ending circle that will change who you are at your core. Giving up your power to another person forces you to live in a different universe where your reputation is your sole concern. These are some strategies to help you let go of your worries so you can be who you are and avoid this from happening. First thing first, know why you care. Know why you are concerned. If you don't know the fundamentals of how a pattern came to be, it can be hard to break. You can free yourself from the hold that other people have on your mindset by discovering the source of your negativity and anxiety. We've established social norms for what we consider to be normal as a society. Style Guide People teach us how to behave in specific ways from the moment we are born and throughout our entire lives. As children, we are taught to conform to social norms, buy particular goods, look a certain way, and adhere to particular ideas. With the introduction of social media, we have started to push these norms too far. Our current goal is to gain as many likes as we can, and everything is visible to everyone. Additionally, maintaining our online and real-life personas may be a big hassle. Throughout our lives, a lot of us have been taught that certain behaviors would result in acceptance while other behaviors have the opposite effect. However, there are moments when we understand that this isn't the case at all. This is societal conditioning of a kind that you have to learn to break free from. The second thing to acknowledge is that not everyone is really thinking about you. We would undoubtedly discover that other people's problems and troubling thoughts are remarkably similar to our own if we could see them. The majority of people's attention is mostly directed toward their own lives, issues, and behaviors. To put it plainly, unless you are significant to them or have an influence on their daily lives, most people don't give you much thought. When you're not around, not even your closest friends and relatives give you any thought. Similarly, even though you might think that everyone is staring at you, the majority of individuals you see in the grocery store or strolling down the street probably pass you by without a second glance. Third rule, never again apologize. Quit A-C-R-Y-P-L-I-Z-I-N-G. It can be challenging to identify your own nervousness or troubling thoughts at times. You're probably worried about other people's opinions of you too much if you're the kind of person who constantly apologizes for being who you are. This is not to say that you shouldn't offer an apology for anything. Saying you're sorry for who you are as a person shouldn't take precedence over admitting that you have done anything wrong that calls for an apology. There's no need to apologize for being who you are, being opinionated and values-driven, quirky or unusual, or caring about the things that are important to you. Number 4. Recall your prioritizations. Reminder what matter to you. Many people discover that the sole reason they decide to change course in life is because of what other people believe they should be doing. However, following the advice of others rather than our own rarely ends well. It's impossible to be happy if you can't be who you truly are. This applies to accepting a job that makes your parents happy as well as declining a significant opportunity because you believe your partner wouldn't approve. Making an impression on people shouldn't be your top objective. It's your life, so you have to learn to act based on your own objectives. Go to action. Pay attention to what you desire and the things that are important to you. The fifth item, let go of your confusion. Delete your minds. The propensity to overanalyze everything can make you very concerned about what other people think of you. No matter how small the action or word may appear, once you've fallen into that hole, it's difficult to avoid worrying about everything. Stop doing this if it's your habit. Spend no time or energy on circumstances over which you have no control. It's inevitable that others will evaluate you, but you should be aware that their opinions of you are probably not as harsh as you believe. You are in control of your own fate, so the most crucial thing is how you feel about the decisions you make. Take a mental vacation and focus on what brings you joy. Sixth rule, pay close attention to who you surround yourself with. Listen carefully to whom you are A-R-O-U-N-D-E-D -E by. The individuals you spend the most time with have a profound effect on your life, even though it might not seem like a major concern. Making unfavorable friends can seriously harm your mental health and shatter your ambitions and dreams. 
Make positive friends instead, whose objectives are to motivate and support you in becoming the best version of yourself, and remember to return the favor. You won't agree with everyone you meet, of course, but then again, why would you? If everyone shared the same thoughts and opinions, life wouldn't have the same significance or purpose. But it might be really helpful to have a limited circle of friends with whom you can be completely honest. You'll be happier the more time you spend with these people. Seventh, recognize that you are fully responsible for your emotions. Recognize that you are in complete control of your emotions. You sort of enable other people to decide whether you're feeling good or awful when you base your emotions on their perceptions. For instance, you might have been irritated because someone disregarded what you had to say. Maybe you felt that you weren't worthy of their time or that you weren't interesting enough for them to focus on. However, since they actually have no control over your emotions, it isn't their fault if their actions make you angry. You are the only one in charge of the emotions you associate with other people's behavior. Giving up control over your feelings is bad and will only make the situation worse. Upon reflection, you are the only person capable of causing emotional distress to yourself. You need to learn how to respond productively if you want to alter the way you react to other people's behaviors or viewpoints. Since most of our thoughts are automatic or even subconscious, this could take some time to figure out what's prompting you to behave in a particular manner. But in the long run, you'll discover that you feel a lot better once you've worked out how to achieve it. 8. Modify the narratives you tell yourself. Modify the narratives you tell yourself. This complements the preceding statement nicely. We trust our own thoughts, thus the things we tell ourselves are the most significant. You will believe that it's the proper thing to do if you convince yourself, for whatever reason, to behave in a particular way. The issue here is that, despite the fact that we ought to, we don't challenge enough of the things we tell ourselves. It's critical and advantageous to examine your ideas closely and identify any instances in which they lack logic or foundation. By identifying the detrimental and unproductive thoughts, you're creating more room in your mind. Negative for things that are beneficial and good. For example, just tell yourself that it's the other way around if you think that everyone criticizes you for your appearance or your wardrobe choices. In reality, other people aren't all that critical of you, and they're most likely preoccupied with their own thoughts. 9. Set appropriate expectations. Assess your expectations. It's critical to evaluate if you have irrational notions of what other people will and won't accept. There are innumerable people in the world who assume that every social connection they have would always end badly. Maybe they're negative people in general, or maybe they've had a lot of embarrassing events in the past. For whatever reason, if you have this mentality, you will be afraid of what other people will think of you. Not only that, but you'll probably get that outcome if you're waiting for your interactions to grow sour and expecting people to detest you. However, you might have experienced some positive social experiences in which you learned that people aren't always as rude or obstinate as you would have thought. The next time you find yourself projecting a dire course for a situation, think about the positive possibilities instead. Tenth point, exposure therapy. Television therapy. One method for helping people get over their concerns is exposure therapy. Assessment therapy. It entails exposing someone to their anxieties so they can discover strategies for either facing them head-on or justifying their responses to them. In this situation, you can try putting yourself in a scenario where you fear people would make assumptions about your appearance or identity. Maybe go without makeup, get that edgy haircut, or express your thoughts on a certain topic. In any case, don't hesitate to act if you fear that others may criticize your appearance, your opinions, or your actions. Even while it could sound terrible at first, if you stay true to who you are, you'll probably discover that nothing bad will happen to the world. It's usually unjustified to dread failure or public humiliation, and being authentic gives you a thrilling sense of relief. Being authentic is comforting and calming, and once you make the decision to do so, your mind will start to calm down and stop thinking those unsettling things. 11. Take care of yourself. Call yourself a friend. You cannot force someone to be your buddy or stay your friend. That much is true. Despite how much we would all like to think otherwise. Nor can anyone else accomplish it. It's important to accept who you are. But it's also important to understand that not everyone can. Acknowledge your successes with pride and cultivate self-acceptance despite your imperfections. 12. 
Become the person you wish to be. As I previously stated, you are essentially giving other people the keys to your life when you let their perceptions of you to control how you feel. You can go so far as to alter every part of your life in an attempt to fit into a mold that you think will make people like you and make your troubling thoughts go away. Still, it won't. It will never be clear to you exactly what they want you to be, which will just make your concerns grow in the end. In addition, spending your life to please other people keeps you from having a unique existence, which you will probably come to regret later. Ask yourself, deep down, what kind of person you truly want to be, and then be that person. You'll quickly gain total control over your life and cease caring what other people think. Number 13. Acknowledge and value each person's uniqueness. Discover how to value and accept people's individuality. Remember to treat people with the same decency when you've learned the art of living your own life and overcome your fears. Let someone exhibit their individuality, even if you don't particularly like them, and support them in being who they are. Steer clear of rumors and biased thoughts about people you don't comprehend. Above all, however, refrain from passing judgment too quickly. It's simple to become preoccupied with what other people think of us, and it can be difficult to let go of those notions. You can let go, and the world becomes so much more amazing when you do, even though it does require time and work. Not everyone will embrace you for who you are, but if it's nothing to worry about, then none of them will. Make decisions based on your desires and carry out your desires. Accept complete accountability for your identity and goals in life. When you do, you'll empower yourself to take charge of your life and raise your self-esteem. How do you feel? Are you obsessive about what other people think of you? Comment and share your ideas below. Please like and share this video with your friends if you liked it so that we can continue to make more like it. Click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell for more videos similar to this one. Don't forget to watch our other videos as well. Thank you for viewing.